fuckers, just get around the corner. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Hello YouTube, how are you today? It's still my birthday, and uh, yeah, just riding home from work. Had an alright day, not too bad. Managed to listen to a bit of my um, Audible, uh, one of my audio books while I was at work, so that is pretty good. Uh, if, you, if you've not listened to any of them and you like the Walking Dead series, uh, there's uh, some Walking Dead books and they're, they're pretty good. I, I'm currently on The Fall of the Governor. It's a little bit different from the TV series. Um, you know, it, it plays out slightly differently. And the book is much more gruesome. I mean, wh yeah, what happens to the governor is just disgusting. I was listening it, listening to it just before lunchtime, sorry. And, oh, yeah, I mean, what, what they do with a spoon is just... It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. I wouldn't suggest listening to it while eating. But the rest of the book, really good. Really recommend it. If you've not, even, in fact, if you've not signed up to Audible, I'd, I'd really recommend the Audible service. It's, quite, it's not that expensive. I think it's like seven, eight pound a month. And you get a free book every, well, it's not really free, is it? But you get a book every month for that. And you can buy more if you want. But, um, you know, I, I find I usually go through about a book a month. Usually. And usually the narration on them is usually pretty good as well. They, uh, they're quite good at the storytelling. Because, quite frankly, I'm, I'm fucking lazy. If it came to actually reading a book, it probably wouldn't happen. But I find Audible is a really, really good way to... Um, really good way to actually get through some books that you're probably interested in, but maybe haven't got the time or the um, willpower to actually sit down and read. So, yeah, check it out. So yeah, the books don't entirely tie in with the TV series. But, you know, a lot of the characters are the same. Well, there's, there's the same names anyway. I think it just plays out a little bit differently. Um, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more integration with, you know, what happens in the TV series. Just kind of like side stories, I guess. Um, but I suppose, you know, they've... Uh, Fucking twat. Fucking knew he was going to pull out. Yeah, sorry. So, yeah, they're all kind of, I'd have liked to have seen, like, the side stories. Like, I really like the first... The first of the books, actually. Um, I think it was called The Rise of the Governor. And, you know, it kind of tells you how he's got to how he is now. And explains it a little bit more. Whereas in a TV series, you just kind of meet this guy and he's a complete fucking nutcase that's... Doing all sorts of crazy shit. So it was good to actually understand a little bit of the backstory about how he got to being like that. I don't know, maybe maybe it was explained in the uh, in the um, comic book series because I think there was I think there was some comic strips for The Walking Dead at some point. Not that I've actually seen or read them. Go on, overtake. Hurry up, otherwise I'm going to fucking do it. Come on, dickhead, hurry up. Jesus Christ. Now, I've not actually seen season four of The Walking Dead yet. I'm still kind of working my way through it. Um, but like in the books, I don't want to ruin it too much for you, but Rick has his hand cut off. Um, which I don't think happens in the TV series, or it's not happened anyway. Not yet. I mean, the governor kind of went crazy in the TV series and and uh, shot a load of his a load of his people and then fucked off in a jeep somewhere. Um, 